Dear friends, namaste all. Today, uh, I'm going to uh, share one simple technique uh, that is helpful in splitting the data set into training data and test data. Suppose if you are working on machine learning models or uh, statistical models, this uh, uh, splitting the data into training data and test data is quite essential. And sometimes even you, you may require to split the training data into training data and as well as uh, validation data. Generally, in a data set, major part, as much as 70 to 80 percent, is utilized for training the model. Remaining uh, data is utilized to test the model. That is how the model is uh, trained and evaluated. Generally, uh, if you are working on Python or R, uh, in those environments, you will have uh, classes or toolkits, which is helpful in splitting the data set into training data and test data. Otherwise, if you are working with Excel, with a, a lot of data, splitting the data uh, manually is rather uh, a difficult task. You can achieve this with the help of Orange. Orange is an open source data visualization, machine learning, and uh, data mining toolkit, uh, which is very user friendly because you need not write uh, lines of code in Orange. For that matter, you, you need not write code you will be given a uh, number of widgets. With the help of those widgets, you can achieve your goal. Just drop the appropriate widget, configure it, connect it, or wire it with other widget. You can simply uh, <clears throat> create the models. So uh, today, I'm going to give you one simple demo So this is orange GUI. So in this environment, you can see a lot of widgets. So out of it, I'm using a file widget. I have to configure this widget. Just merely double clicking, I will get in a window. So I'm just browsing. I'm working on a hardware uh, data which I get. Uh, which I got from uh, machine learning repository website. So this is the data, computer data. So you can see a uh, number of columns. This particular data set is having 209 records in it and uh, 10 columns or uh, uh, parameters out of which nine are uh, um, independent parameters and one is the dependent parameter. So I've just uploaded the data set into the file which get. Now, if I want to see this, I can make use of a table which get. Simply I can wire it and double click on that. You can see the data, all you are, uh, 209 data. This is the data. Uh, suppose if you want to make one a target data, you can do it. I want ERP to be the target data. So I'm just configuring it. Okay. Apply this. Now, if you can see, you have the ERP as the target data. You can see the data all 209 records. Now, with the help of uh, data sampler, I can achieve my goal that is splitting this data set into 
uh, test data and uh, train data. You can simply wire this. Uh, if I double click on this, I will get a, a, an interactive window. Uh, here, uh, you can split the data based on the percentage. Suppose if I put 80, 80 will be one, it will split it. Two not uh, 80 records out of 209 into one data set and remaining things into one data set. If I take uh, this as an option, or I can make use of uh, fixed sample size where I will typically I'll put 180 records. So I can see uh, the bottom. There are totally 209 records. 180 is split into one data set and 29 is split into another data set. You can also see them by just clicking on the icon. You can see uh, how data is be, uh, being split. 80, 180 instances over here and 29 instances here. So I've done my job of splitting it. So uh, if I want to see them, I can again make use of uh, our data tables. So let me connect this. If I connect this, I'll get 180 reports over here. If I connect this, I'll have another record. Now I want the remaining records here and I don't want this. So in the second table, so remaining records and data sample and remaining records. Remaining records in the sense, the remaining uh, 29 records in this particular data can also name them if I want, okay? Now I want to export this uh, data. I have a save widget, I can make use of that. And simply wiring this from the data table, I can export them. So I have a, a for one, all 180 records, I have, a save as option. Now I'm preferring to save this as a computer data underscore train data. That I've done it. I can check that. And say computer data. It is having remove this. So it is having 180, 181 in the sense, including the column header. So 180 records in the train data. So also, I can save 29 records, save as computer test, okay. So save computer test, all my 29 records. So 30 in the sense, 29 records as my test data. It is as simple as that. So that's all. So thank you for watching uh, my video.